Jesse Salander, senior ER nurse. And for the next three years, I'm your mama. I can promise you, nothing goes on in this house your mama don't know about. You think you're smarter than your mama because you have an MD? You're not. Your mama can tell when you're lying, crying, or dying. Whoa, come, come on, bro. This can't be here. Look, I got gunnies coming in and out of here every two minutes. Storeroom. CCCRP. Combat Casualty Care Research Program, Department of Defense. They send us doctors here every year, teach us new techniques, new technology they learn in the field of combat. That was only a year ago for us. Seems like a thousand. Every year, thousands of newly minted doctors like yourself apply to learn emergency medicine in the Civic Cathedral you are about to enter. That's her. That's Jessamine. Thought that was Charlotte Peel. Jessamine was the character that she played. How do you not know that? Never saw any of the movies. You haven't seen The Artemis Stone? It was a seminal movie of my childhood. The Artemis Fire was my favorite. I read the book twice. Artemis Thief, way better. You're crazy. You're nerds. Angels. Memorial. OK, take a good look, people. This is what you're going to look like in 12 months. Beaten and bewildered. Second year. Say hello to first year. Hi, Miss Peel. I'm Angus Slate, and I'm a huge fan. It's just Charlotte. No, it's Dr. Peel. I'm Malaya Pineda. Hi. Oh, and this is uh, Mario Savetti. He hasn't seen any of your movies. Oh, enough already? Dr. Layton, did you drive in with your brother today? He has you residence. Yeah, I haven't seen him since. Dr. Layton's on a chopper. What do you mean he's on the chopper? He an army guy. was a room for all of us, so. Did Dr. Rorish know this? What army guy? Man, I hate helicopters. Get her away, somebody take her. What do we got? Guys, a soup sandwich. I need you to hang some blood while I plug this thing in. Plug what in? What the hell is that? Can't turn a kid in abdomen, but you've got to stop the bleeding. We inject this foam into peritoneum. Foam? Surrounds all the anatomy, organs, vessels, everything. Expands, cathodes the bleed. It's your peritoneal foam system courtesy US military. Are you serious? Have you ever done this before? On a pig. A pig? It works. Should work. All right, watch this. Like shooting whipped cream into a Twinkie. All right, perfusion's improving. Pulse is stronger. Hoo-ha! Let's get him out of here. As you know, the Army sends someone here every to year. To teach, not to drag my residency director out in the field the very day as new residents are starting. Well, it's hardly a house call. But you don't have the authority to just tell my... Yes, I do. They told me you'd be informed on Friday. What are we talking about? The board decided to combine the administration of the OR and Trauma One. Excuse me? Yeah. I'm not running both departments. <laughs> you can't be serious. Sorry you have to find out this way. No, you're disappointed. Uh, you think I'm disappointed to lose a job I didn't even want? No. I'm furious that combining Trauma One with another department sets back ER medicine 40 years. Well, it happens to be more efficient. It's more efficient for you. What happens to me? You go back to being a doctor. I was always a doctor. We're here. 
You're not guests. You're part of a trauma team. Don't be shy. All right, let's get in there. Heads down safely. Layden, get the door. What do you got? Two shark bite victims. 13-year-old female, multiple deep lacerations to her right leg and right arm. 17-year-old male, One, multiple two, puncture wounds to his abdomen. Hypotensive on scene, BP now stable. All right, hold on. Uh, Pinky, get them onto a ward now. Wait, wait, where are the two doctors? There was an accident. What kind of accident? Dr. Layton fell. Fell from where? From a chopper, 20 feet above the deck. Where are they now? I don't know. The army guy Willis is with him, that's all I know. Angus, you stay. Go to dispatch. See what you can find out about your brother. You're only coming through. Look out. Michelle, send off a trauma panel, please. Type across the floor. Pick it up. All right. Get the rail down, please. Let's get up here. And on my count. One, two, three. Got it. What's your name? Kaya. Kaya. All right. We're just going to roll it right over. It's going to be okay. Ready? One, two, three. Got it. How are we doing? Clear. Got it. Airways paid. Who can tell me the best face for an IV and a trauma patient? Right behind you, right behind you. Anyone? I'm gonna need a suture tray, please, with a five-year old bike girl. That sounds equal bilaterally. Femoral central line? Oh, no, no. Come on, people. Your patient can't wait for you to Google it. BP is 82 over 40. I've been soft, non tender. Jesse, happy with Lido, please. Got it. Thank you. Forceps, please. Forceps, thank you. Dr. Keene, where am I gonna put that IV? Come on, come on. Now, internal jugular. No. Pupils are equal and reactive to life. Anticubital lines allow quick large for access for immediate resuscitation. Well done. You guys see this? Get in there and look now. We've got a two centimeter tear of the tibial artery right here. Come on over, Dr. Bill. I want you to assist in the repair, please. Should you engage in the anticubital? Uh, yes, please. Yes. Mike Layton took a 20 foot fall out of the chopper. Hey, Dr. Campbell. Tell him I'm prepping for an ex lap. Hang two more units own egg. Can't believe this kid is still alive. What the hell is this stuff? All right, get this Colonel Willis on the phone. He looks like an eclair. Were you planning on telling me what the stuff is oozing out of the patient? He's got a little busy out there. His GCS is six, but in today. It's molded to the anatomy. That's the point. All right, I need a 10 cc syringe. I need a 7.5 ET tube. Do you have a CO2 detector? And how am I supposed to get it out of him? It's designed to pull away from the internal structures, not leave any surface damage. We're gonna be famous. Nobody's ever tried this on a live patient. Any idea where the bleeder is? We're at. I suspect a mesentery injury, but it was hard to tell out there. We have a status report from Dr. Layton. Who's this? Angus, you shouldn't be on this line. I'll get off as soon as I find out how my brother is. Is he conscious? No, and this isn't helping. A tree TA, please. Angus, hang up. Dr. Layton, get off that mic. Son, let them do their jobs. We got an ambulance on the ramp. You want to get me here? Or do you need a break? Got. 65-year-old male, Henry Underwood, found unconscious on the sidewalk post-assault. GCS-4, response to pain only, multiple contusions. BP-118 over 64, heart rate 132, fat 7. All right, coming in, coming in, bed number two. All right, let's draw blood and bolus the leader of NS. Okay, on my count, one, two, three. Thank you. What do you got, Guthrie? Assault victim, blunt trauma to the head, back and chest. Grab the ultrasound. Who, me? Uh, where is it? I got it, I got it. You. What's your name, son? Elliot. And here you're Dr. Dixon. Breathe, Dr. Dixon. Breathe. Residents, I'm Dr. Campbell. With your uh, residency director currently incapacitated, you will be supervised by Dr. Rorish to further notice. I gotta go up to the OR. You don't know he's incapacitated. You don't know anything. Dr. Layton, I'm sorry I did not see that. Since when does he tell ER residents what to do? Dr. Layton? He runs the OR. Dr. Campbell. Is now director of the ER. We're all hoping that Mike's okay. Oh God! I'm new here. I'm Willis. Where are we taking him? Center stage. That's coming up. All right. Angus, it's Mike. 
regain consciousness at all. Malaya. I don't know. Unfortunately, he has not. No gag reflex, totally unresponsive. I had to intubate him. All right, he's got increased pressure on his brain. He's bleeding. I'll call neurosurgery. No, there's no time. It's posturing. He's herniating his brain. I know what posturing means. Then you know that if we don't drill a hole in your brother's head in the next six or seconds, he's going to die. No, we wait for neurosurgery. Risa, get him the burr hole kit, please. I can use a hand. Elias, switch with me. Dr. Lord, he is my brother. That's exactly why you should make this decision. I don't even know him. This is what you need to know. I've done exactly 300 of these. You've probably done none. I am the best hope your brother has. Now step off. Thanks. Let him do what he needs to do. You shouldn't watch this. I can't leave him. Okay, I'm not gonna make you leave, but you gotta stand behind the orange line. That was it. Go on in. Through. The guy, Colonel Willis, drills a hole in his skull in center stage and didn't even care what I thought. No one did. And even Rorish. Look, I know you don't want to hear this, but from what I saw, he saved Mike's life. Okay, I don't have any real news other than he's alive. How, uh, how long till he wakes up? We would to keep him sedated on a vent for at least a couple of days until the swelling goes down. I knew we should have brought him up here right away. Mike would have died if it weren't for Willis. That's a fact. That's what I said. Where's Tucker? He's in the OR. His parents are on an airplane. We haven't been able to reach him yet. I know. Our parents are in Paris together. Nice. Is my sister here yet? It's a long drive from Malibu, which I learned myself today. I was with Tucker first, you know. Okay. I know he's older, but we have a thing. What kind of a... You know, don't answer that. I don't want to know. It's real. Jaden's trying to mess with it. She's a whore. Ow! Can't you numb that or something? All right. It's going to sting a little. Sure, you let him put his hands up her shirt. How can I compete with that? My boobs hey, are like. Okay. We're in a weird area here. I think this is a conversation you should be having with your parents. Have you talked to them? Before they took off. They're very upset. What are you telling about you and Tucker? Every hospital has a different system. At Angels, code green is relatively quiet. Code yellow, we're filling up, it's still manageable. Dr. Dixon, did you get lost? Yes. Code red. We're over capacity. Things are starting to get dicey. When that board says code black, that's when things can really start to go sideways. What's it mean? It's an internal catastrophe where we're so overrun by critical patients, we don't have the resources or the staff to treat them all. How often does that happen? Almost every night. If you know you're always going to be in code black, why not do something about it? Because doing something costs money, and we're a county hospital in the second largest city in America. As a doctor, what do you do when the hospital exceeds its capacity? You exceed your own. All right, that's enough touring for now. Is there a lounge or something where we can take a break? Are you tired, sugar bear? It's just that it's been like six hours. Dude. No, no, I just, you know, I, I thought that. Dr. Sabetti, can you take Dr. Keen and Dr. Peel, make them useful? I'm going to take Dr. Dixon to the lounge, OK? The lounge? Colonel Willis, can we have a word, please? Please. Let's lose the colonel. Well, it sounds like you're talking about an old man in a nursing home. All right. Dr. Willis, the way it works here is the physician who catches the incoming case becomes the primary. Mm hmm mm -hmm. Well, we could go with nature's law, finders keepers. I scooped her up off the beach. Sorry, my bad. But she needs debridement in a multi-layer closure. I'm aware of that. That's why she's waiting for an R. And if she waits, she could also lose the mobility in the hand. Have a look. Thanks. What's happening? Well, you got a big old tear in your brachial radialis. Sounds like a dinosaur. <laughs> I never thought of it like that. I like it. 
So this is the tendon that controls your arm. Ah, oh, she's out. Kaya? Loss of blood. Just hang yeah. a few units. Pulse is still strong. You gotta do this here. You wanna do it here? I've done it in the back of a Humvee. Come on, you with me on this? Game on. Okay, you can both do this one together. It's an easy one. Patient complaining of pain everywhere. Why is that an easy one? Pain everywhere means pain nowhere. Check her, come find me. I'm Dr. Peel. I am Dr. King. So, are, are you researching a role or something? No, not acting anymore. Yeah, this is just weird. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you're very good, but... Can you tell us when the pain started? Um, I, I had a hysterectomy six weeks ago and was just cleared to have sex. Um, I, um, I met a guy up in Runyon <laughs> Um, And I uh, decided he was the one. Uh, the pain began right after. You've been having any fevers, bleeding? Um, no. Feel this. That's crepitus, right? I don't know. I don't... What is that? Crepitus is free air under your skin. What does it mean? If it is crepitus, which I'm not sure it is, it could mean a lot of things. Yeah, I'm sorry. I think I need to see a real doctor now. We are doctors. Real doctors. Miss Copling, it's, it's possible that if I had sex too soon after your surgery, air was forced into your body. What? Stop. No, no. Can we talk about it? There could be a puncture in the vagina. What, a puncture? Like, a hole? Seriously, can we talk outside? Oh my God, Jessamine just told me I have a hole in my vagina. You're suddenly an OBGYN? Aggressive sex could easily force air subcutaneously, especially in someone who was post hysterectomy. She'd have to be having sex with a toilet plunger to put that much air in her. Plus, it's not crepitus. I had a punctured lung case once. It's really different. A lung has a lot of actual air in it. And so would a vagina if they had aggressive sex. Have you ever had aggressive sex? Because I have. I'm sure you have. Ouch. A penis, no matter how impressive, cannot put enough air in there to cause crepitus in her chest. Okay, what the hell's going on here? She thinks Debbie's pain is from subcutaneous air caused by a vaginal puncture? A vaginal puncture? From what? Rough sex. She doesn't seem to type. Is that your official diagnosis? I examined her already. I didn't feel crepitus, and uh, sex can't produce that much air. A CT will tell us for sure. New residents don't get to order a crazy expensive test on a hunch. What she needs is a psych consult. Psych? Yeah. So uh, she just lost her uterus. It's gonna be traumatizing for a woman. She's exhausted, anxious, vague total body pain. This is depression. I've seen it a bunch of times. Call psych. 35. Can I help you? Yes, I received a phone call about my father, Henry Underwood. I don't need to see him. I just need to know that he's okay. You don't want to see him? Yes, we'd like to see him. I'll page the doctor. Congratulations. Thank you. Father's right over here. Henry, how are you feeling? You should see the other guy. Not a scratch on him. Sorry, Randall. It's not how you wanted to spend this day. Not how I wanted to spend a lot of days, Dad. Randall, you promised. I'm sorry, I can only give you a few minutes. He really needs to rest. It's not what you think. I was mugged. There's two guys out of nowhere. I was coming to your wedding. You never showed up for anything. Now you expect me to believe you're coming to my wedding? Now you probably lost a bet on a game and you couldn't cover it. No. No, that's not it. Uh, there was no bet. There was no game. When are you going to get it through your head that there is no do-over? Randall? This is okay, it! Okay, let's leave, okay? Yeah, she's right. It's time to go, guys. Come on. Let's I'm go. Sorry. I'm so sorry. You're always really sorry. You don't want to do this, okay? You're upsetting your wife. She's not my wife. That's my point. He did this to me on my wedding day. No, 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 it's all right. It's okay. Just calm down. Just relax. Just relax. So is 
She is the sister of the shark bite What's her phantom, name? Jaden, and her boyfriend Tucker is the one who's in surgery. Dr. Rorsch, this is Jaden. I'm Kai's sister. I, I tried to call and my battery ran out. Is she okay, Tucker? Calm down. <laughs> Deep breaths. I, I just I tried to drive her as fast as I could up the traffic. And... <laughs> All right, she's hyperdone, lady. Let's get her inside and sit her down, please. Follow me this way. Uh, Dr. Keene, can we get her on our pole socks, please? Can you sit right here for a second? I, 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 Jaden, Jaden, Jaden. I want you to slow your breathing down. Can you hear that? Okay. Just deep breaths. I'm gonna put this right in your nose. It's gonna help you breathe a little bit. All right, here we go. Kaya, she's okay. And Tucker's in surgery. But they both need you to be strong for them, all right? Okay. Just sit here and just catch your breath for a few minutes. And then I'm gonna take you back to see Kaya, all right? How you doing in there, Dr. Dixon? How do you like our lounge? Oh, dear God. Dad, tell me everything. He's in a medically induced coma. He came in with a... I was asking Dr. Campbell. I was actually there. He fell 20, 25 feet. I treated him on site, got him to the ambulance. By the time we got him to Angels, he was bleeding inside of his skull. Pressure needed to be relieved. Dr. Campbell can walk you through the surgery. Excuse me. Strapped in yet. He never should have been in that helicopter to begin with. Thought it would save lives, and it did. I'm sorry. I feel responsible for what happened. You are responsible. Interrupted us when I was a kid. My mom and I, we had to live in a homeless shelter. You never told me that. Let's just leave. Let's go get married right now like we planned. Can I help you? Sounds like you had a real bum for a dad. Excuse me? I had one of those. I didn't talk to my father for 20 years. Now he's gone. It's too late. I'm sorry. Look, I, I don't even know you, and you're going to give me lessons on forgiveness and regret? No. I just want to give you this. What is this? Your father's things. Open it. He was coming to the wedding. Uh, this fell out of his pocket. I think it's his toast to you. Not that I read it because that would be right. But if I did read it, I have to say your father has lots of regrets. But the one thing he didn't regret was you. I didn't read it, so what do I know? They must have moved. Risa, where's Mr. Underwood? Family? Yeah. Surgery. 
He was hemorrhaging, trouble breathing, O2 dropped. What's happening? They have to bring him up to the OR. Okay, but is he gonna be okay? Uh, give me a minute, I'll find that for you. Are you crazy? Why don't you like me? Why? Look where you are. You were expressly told no CT scan, and yet here you are getting a CT scan. So? So you have an outside sense of entitlement that comes from years of people kissing your ass. You don't know me at all, and I don't know you. But if I am right about the crepitus, you'll be glad you helped me. And if you're wrong, we will get kicked out. Great sales pitch. Something is happening to me. <laughs> the air's leaking into her throat now. Something caused this. Help us figure out what it is before this gets worse. The truth, Debbie. Oh, stupid. I let him use a toy. What kind of toy? Seriously? That kind of toy? Yeah. It, it had an air pump. Something you could have mentioned earlier. An air pump? What could you possibly do with an... No, no. No, no. Don't do this. We need Savetti. She's gonna call. We don't have time for that. We need to do something. I don't know what. It's the air. It's everywhere. We... A hyperbaric chamber. Yes. The pressure will force the air back to her vascular space. Okay, you take her. I get Mario, okay? okay. Hang in there, Debbie. I told you. I hate her. I don't want to see her. You're really going to be upset at your sister over some guy, because I'll tell you a secret. I'm a guy. We're not that special. It's not very special. Oh, Kaya. Um, are you OK? Is she OK? She's tough. She's going to make it. No thanks to her. Seriously? All of this is your fault. My fault? You're the one who, who begged Tucker to go surfing. I, I didn't beg him. He wanted to go. No one invited you. You just showed up. OK, let's everyone just take like a right deep breath. now. No one wants you here. The only reason Tucker went to the beach is because I was going. And you can't understand that, because you're just a kid. I'm 13. Exactly. OK, I'm going to call Let's let your sister get some rest, OK? Fine. Maybe you can treat her for being a brat while she's here. That went well. Vitals are steady. How often do you check them? Not often. Truth. Every 30 seconds. It could be like this for a couple days. Maybe more. Dr. Bush said you could take as long as you need. Mario, she started to crump. Who? Punctured vagina. We had to get her into the hyperbaric chamber. The hyperbaric chamber? What the hell are you two talking you about? You gotta come quick. How's my shark picked up? Stable. I do post off him. Good. Okay, I'm gonna order a repeat CBC and a gram cefotida. Oh my god. Paige Campbell, we're going back to the OR now. Charlotte, talk to me. It's not working fast enough. I can barely bag her. All right, come in. Can't. They're already pressurized. What do I do? She needs to release the air. I, I need a scalp and beta on. Now what? Make a small incision in the subcutaneous tissue of her neck. Do not be timid, Charlotte. You have to cut deeper through the dermis. You got this.
And we have just received word that one of those survivors of the attack has sadly died of his wounds. The hospital is not releasing the name of the victim at this time, but we are told that he died during surgery to repair his extensive wounds. Is this true? The second doctor, Colonel Ethan Williams. Is he dead? I'm sorry, Jaden. And I'm sorry you had to find out that way. He was all alone. I should have been with him. I should have been there. I want to see him. Can you take me to him? I can't. We have to wait for his parents to get here. They're on a plane. What am I supposed to do? Just sit here? Does Kaya know? No. And she can't. Not yet. She has 120 stitches. And she's lost a great deal of blood. She needs to stay calm right now. It's just, it's just gonna break her heart. As much pain as you're in right now, Jaden, you can't tell her. You need to be strong for her. Who's gonna be strong for me? I'm not apologizing. If that's why you're here, you should just leave. Oh, really? Now you're not talking to me? You're supposed to be the mature one. Fine, Jaden. Be a baby. I'll let you get some rest. Stop. He's dead, isn't he? <laughs> Kaya. Just leave. Kaya, I'm so sorry. Just leave me alone. Please, I'm sorry. Please just go. Is he gonna die? He's lost a lot of blood. He's in pretty bad shape. Doc, is my father going to die? I'm an optimist. Me too. Hey, Pop. It's a nice tuxedo. <laughs> I saw it. I saw this. You wrote a toast and everything? You hate talking in front of people. <laughs> Aren't you glad you got out of that one? I remember when you were a little boy. You followed me around everywhere I went, and you needed me for everything. You drove me crazy sometimes, but I loved it. <laughs> you were my boy, and I loved being your dad. But it's been a long time since you've needed me, though. A long time since you said you wanted to be like me when you grew up. And now you're the one I want to be when I grow up. I 
still need you. You hear me? I'm your boy and I still need you. I know this must be impossible for you to understand. You think I'm just a kid? So I can't understand anything? I think you're grieving. Grief is something that nobody understands at any age. I don't want him to leave. I want him to come back. I know. I know, and as crappy as that is, you're not the only one who has to bear this. Jaden doesn't understand this any better than you do, and her heart is breaking just as badly. She thinks it's only her, though. She'll never get what I'm feeling. She's your sister. She's the only one who'll get what you're feeling. Hey. Talk to her, All right? It's the only way you two are going to get through this. And I wouldn't be telling you any of this if I thought you were just a kid. I love you. I love you too. Crepitus is gone. Subcutaneous emphysema. Who caught that? No, it did. What's Dr. Savetti's help? Good job. All of you. Savetti, let's go do some charting and let these two have a much needed break. What was that about? I need a friend here. And I think you do too. Right? You missed that one, didn't you? I got distracted. Let them run on their own. Sorry. Second year is different. You're not just responsible for yourself anymore. When you're supervising your first year, you're responsible for them. not your fault. I'm sorry I blamed you. You'd have your right to. No, I didn't. You were doing the right thing. Sometimes that doesn't absolve us of the consequences. We, um, haven't officially met yet. I mean, I guess. Ethan.
We get guys from your unit once a year. They either send here as a punishment for doing something wrong or a reward for doing something good. Which one are you? Both. Stay tuned for scenes from our next episode. Next Wednesday, one mistake in the ER. You're not to say a word to that family, understand? And every life ah! hangs in the balance. You've got to trust us. Cameron Mannheim and Eric Roberts guest star. Dad! Can still lead a normal life. I think he would rather die. A new Code Black. CBS next Wednesday or stream it live or on demand.